you getting ready for the jazz? Oh yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that's where it came from. Welcome back to Sikistan, brought to you by March Drop number four. So at the time of recording, I think all the pants are gone, unfortunately, but these t-shirts are up for order. So you can get some t-shirts. These t-shirts are only available until Tuesday morning or depending on where you live, Monday night. So make sure if you want to get one, get your order in now. Or it could also be Tuesday afternoon or Tuesday night, depending where you live. So don't marginalize them, you know. <laughs> uh, today we're reacting to yet another, uh, if you want to call them freak, you can call them freaks. Yet another freak athlete. Uh, and this is Daniel Stahl. I may be pronouncing that wrong, but I think I've done a pretty good job there. Daniel is a Swedish discus thrower. He's the current Olympic champion and he was the world champion in 2019. Uh, but obviously myself and Owen aren't looking at his discus throwing. <coughs> We're looking at his insane lifting of weights. To be honest, his discus throwing wouldn't mean anything to me. Only if it went outside like the Olympic Stadium. Like if he drew yeah. the discus so far. That and it, it nearly hit someone. No, no, it just needs to go out, over, out of bounds, you know, it needs to go out okay, over. Like a home run, like. Yeah, yeah, beyond the home run, really. Okay. Then I'd be like, oh, that's probably a pretty good throw, I'd say. Yeah. But uh, the numbers mightn't mean a whole lot. I do know they changed the javelin because the last person throwing the old style javelin went right to the edge and they thought it was going to be a, a health and safety hazard. So they actually changed the javelin event so nobody can throw that distance anymore. It's made it heavier. I don't know what they did to the actual javelin itself, but... Less pointier. Maybe. Maybe they put one of those tennis balls at the end of it. <laughs> so <laughs> They gave you a barbell, like, all right. So thanks to everyone again who commented on the last video of a throw we had who gave us these suggestions. This video actually came from the comment section uh, where someone suggested we take a look at Daniel's training. And uh, yeah, we're duly impressed. We're going to start off today with two very, very heavy deadlifts. My name's not Julian. Did I say Julian? You said Julian Prest. Uh, we're going to start off with two very, very heavy deadlifts. These are kind of what I call semi-sumo girth. So this is the first of two very heavy deadlifts. Right. Uh, I know you haven't seen these videos, even though you did see the first 10 seconds of this, but we had to cut that for a different technical reason. This is, I think, 350 kilos for five reps. A casual 350 for five reps. Yeah. So the, the interesting about his sumo deadlift is that he's not using sumo deadlift for leverages. It just seems to be using the sumo deadlift stance because like very, very large joint people like he appears to be just needs that room for his hip to sit in between. It feels a little bit more comfortable. Yeah. Like he's not getting the kind of Steffi Cohen style super upright. His back angles are very similar to conventional. So here's 350 for five. Fucking insane. Hell. You it, see in the first and second rep, he doesn't really even bother to brace himself. Yeah. Like the bar is still kind of moving around like because there's no need to concentrate on the first couple of reps there. Like he's just knocking the barbell away, super high hips. But yeah. it's the speed of the barbell moving. Is insane. Any idea what body weight he is? heavy large I, I couldn't see a body weight listed anywhere or definitely not consistent body weights this 180 kilos for behind neck push press set of two or three I think uh, just I bet he's a lovely guy as well I love the aggression of the locket at the top man you just everything Trevor should be doing should be as aggressive as possible yeah 180 kilos for triple so aggressive I feel like that was for multiple sets I feel like he'd look great with a mullet they can't they can't help themselves, drawers in the gym. They can't just stop training like this. <laughs> There's just weightlifters sitting in the corner crying watching yeah. this. Like. But they just bring so much tenacity to it. Yeah. What's what, what? How much is this? I'm not sure what weight this is. You're not sure, Dara. Uh, Come on. No weight listed. 290? No. That's more, I'd say. That could be like 320. Yeah. There's no weight listed for the video. It's no. just a huge squat. It's absurd. This is a training montage. So, like, ooh, that could be 310, I'd say, at least. I think if it's... 250, 280, and then 220. 330 or 340 coming up. So we know this is 270. 270, yeah. Oh my God. So the big thing when you're a thrower, any kind of explosive at least, is you never want to be getting into the reps where you're grinding any kind of repetition. Like it's probably negligible, the effect it has on you, but these kind of reps add up over the course of your training, training career. They're certainly not very productive and they may negatively and probably do negatively impact you over a period of time. Obviously, they open you up for more chances of injury at super heavy weights, even though angry physios just get nothing hurt you more than anything else. <laughs> but look, so super fast, but as heavy as you can get for as fast as you get. It's not yeah. lifting light, no, no, it's no, lifting no, heavy no, no, weights no. fast. As heavy as possible, as fast as possible. As these deadlifts are. So yeah. And yet, we don't know what this is. We don't know what this is. Pause it a second. So, 200, 240, 
280 plus 50, 330. Fucking hell. Yeah. But they're all so quick. I don't know, is that his mom and dad dancing in the background? That's adorable. I hope, I hope it is. No, that's so adorable. Um, This is... 250. Oh, knee wraps. It doesn't count. He's also a very skilled lifter. See the little little yeah, knee bump at the start, the, you know? The double bounce. I don't like when my lifters do that. Sometimes it happens. You know, if they were doing 250 for reps like that, I'd actually be like, you're grand. If, Daniel, yeah, Daniel they, you can do that today. If they were doing 250 for speed quadruples, yeah. I'd be like, all right, lads, that's okay. Uh, so this is to a nine. mere 230. No, there's more. Is no, there? no, no, there's, oh, no. There's small sorry, reds. Sorry. I miss the small I, reds I miss as well. Small reds. So this is actually to... Oh my God, give me Wait. a second. We're going to actually... so many plates, I need a second. So we've got 220, 260, 230. My God. Speed. Oh my God. Holy shit balls. And I it's still fast. I wouldn't really use deadlifting for chores. It's not... It wouldn't come to mind incredibly fast, you know? Yes. So... I think this is 260. It looks like 260. Yeah. Uh, he is just My God. eating weights. We talk about people disrespecting weights on this channel a lot. He is giving zero respect to the weights here. No, he's... Okay, we've no idea what this could yeah, be. There's, there's no way of calculating that. So like, so normally deadlifting wouldn't be very useful for sure. It's not that it wouldn't, it's not that it wouldn't feature. It would certainly feature in the program. But generally, they're just not able to move heavy weights fast enough to do that. So you'd be doing... Power cleans is the reason you see them do a lot. You might do block high pulls, for example. But it's rare you'd see a thrower who's able to do that heavy a deadlift that fast to make it useful. Yeah. You know? So again, just more ludicrously heavy squats. Again, the the depths for a thrower is something we talk about a lot. Sometimes for, for rugby players, but for explosive athletes like this, the depth isn't massively important. Certainly a requisite depth is useful. And I think a combination of deeper squats and pretty high box squats for heavy weight the only thing is when you get someone as strong as him, he's yeah. just doing both of them at one time. So he's not doing the super overloaded heavy box squats as fast as possible. He's just doing really heavy squats for as fast as possible, which are really deep. Yeah. He's, it also kind of shocked me how young he is. He's, even though he's not that young in terms of athletics, but yeah. he's, he should be 30 this year, I think. Yeah. You, you feel like I, he should be in his late 30s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Giants age faster, I think time acts differently on them. It's... It seems to be a common thing with his first rep and all those deadlifts. He just lets that bar drift out in front. 180, a paltry 180. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, my is, God, his rib gauge. This is the most thrower deadlift ever. Bench press. Or bench press ever. Yeah. <laughs> but a pinch of eight. Is that 180 for three? Yeah. Uh, uh, the, that's absolute insanity. 240, 270 again. Very deep in the squats. I'd love to know what the lads who are spotting him are going to. Not help him, any. He certainly doesn't look like he needs the help. No. Again, I love how just this is all really heavy squats. So he won the Olympics in the 2019 yeah. Worlds. Yeah. What more can you say? Surely this is some kind of push press. Surely no way he'd be squatting something so light as 170. 170? A meager 170. Oh, look how fast Oh there. my God. Yes. It makes perfect sense uh. to be behind the next stuff because you can get so much more power and speed into them. Yeah. Like, there's no need for him to do anything from the front rack. It's just so pleasing to see as well. The celebration is the exact same each time of that single-handed fist bump. Like We got a random throw in there and then back for 300 kilo data for reps. <sighs> it's unbelievable. Yeah. I'd love to know what body weight he's sitting at. No straps. No, no suit. Just Nike. Oh my God. He should be in an 80s montage. Yeah. I, I love these deadlifts. This is amazing. I wish he was doing the conventional just to make it extra aesthetic. So we've got... Oh my this God. is 185. 181, I'd say. 181. 320, probably. <laughs> I'd love to see if he does hang power cleans, what the hang power cleans look like. If I assume very aggressive. Yeah, it's so interesting we haven't seen them yet. Doesn't yeah. mean he's not doing them, but he just haven't seen them in the training montanage. The gym looks amazing. Oh, yeah. imagine how happy he'd be walking into that gym training. <sighs> I bet everyone like Scandinavia is super polite and really nice as well. Yeah. Oh, that was actually America was American. Was place. it? Yeah, you wouldn't be allowed in there, I suppose. These are the dungeon gyms in, in like the Nordic regions that I'm super interested in. There's eight feet of snow everywhere. So I'm um, like Romney trees. Daniel, please. Not as fast, you see, so that's why. No idea what this is because it's, it's uh, bougie. But even the, the black and white filter just looks right with these surroundings. He looks like he needs a box mullet, a big moustache. Yep. Athletics people love training in their tanks, the yeah. tank tops, or their uh, singlets as they call them. 
but they're not singlets. What do we have here? Some abs. I thought he was going to go for a muscle up. A lot of people, yeah. I honestly thought he would. I bet he could do it. Yeah. So obviously, loads of core work. So like pelvis and girdle control and just keeping everything rigid and ability to transfer force from his legs through his arms, through his hips. It's a massively important. Oh, <clears throat> snatch grip. Please don't do a power snatch. Please don't do a power oh, I think snatch. we're going to see it. No, 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 no. Very light on the snatch grips. He's shaking his head. He's like, why is that so light? <laughs> he probably could have power snatched it, though. Back for more squats again. Something 230. A lighter day. Geez, Aliko are great for getting their banners in, aren't they? Yeah. Or Aleko. Aleko. So. Uh, lovely looking squats there. Very good looking squats. Imagine you're the coach, you know, and 16 year old Daniel or 12 year old Daniel walks into the gym and he's already six foot. You're, yeah. You're like, yeah. That's the problem, though. It's so you difficult gotta, to train those bigger lads. you got to keep it cool, though. Yeah. you be like, oh, yeah, Daniel will probably be all right. Because he's not going to display athletic talent until he's 17 or 18, you know? I don't know. i say he was probably displaying athletic talent pretty soon. Yeah. It's, it is a problem with the heavier weight classes, though. It's like it's very difficult to keep those people involved in sport. Drawers don't start very young, though. You don't see a lot of young drawers. You don't see a lot of drawers in general, but... It's 270. This is aggressive. Yeah. So these are like the slowest we've seen him do squats. And like this is on the verge of what you'd be like, okay, for most people with throwers who are not <laughs> Olympic, you'd be like, this is probably like 170. Yeah, like, yeah, Like, okay, yeah, that's yeah. probably fast enough, you know. If I was uh, if I was an explosive athlete, if I was in power, <laughs> I'd be using a velocity-based meter. I'd probably invest in one if I had the funds for it. It would be a useful metric. For general strength people, there's no need. But for as a record of data throughout your training career and your training seasons, I'd definitely use some kind of velocity-based. I wouldn't base my training decisions off it solely, but it's very useful data to see, I think. Oh, conventional clean pulls. So this is kind of what you see at most drawers if they're doing kind of a deadlift or pulling style movement is a, a clean pull or extension trying to move fast at the top, you know. I'm so impressed by all of this. It's just... I love the old school Aliko plates. Yeah. They're very difficult to find. No, I'm I'm blown away by this. Thanks to everyone who commented. Yeah. Thanks to the people who've, who've po pointed us in the direction of athletes in the past. If there's an athlete you'd like to see us do a video on, make sure you comment down below. Or if you see somebody else has commented that name, like or reply to that comment. As we said at the start, if you want great t-shirts like these, go to the website. There'll be a link down below. Only available until Tuesday. I'm going to say maxes of 320 squat all out, 400 kilo deadlift, and then 200 kilo bench, 205. I'd say definitely 320 or 330 on the squat. Uh, I'd love to know, because those bench presses at 180, that triple didn't look like it was... That's what I'm saying, 200. Yeah. 85 yeah. kilo strict press. I'd say behind the neck, power jerky kind of thing, 220 kilos. Yeah, probably. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, like, 100, just... yeah. Yeah, 100%. You know, Snatch feet group. feet move, but not really meant to move. Yeah. More uh, like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you mean. I know what you Like a, a Larry Wheels kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I would say. Thanks for watching. 